this tutorial looks at how to create labels. First of all, we create a query, and then using that query, we create a special type of report. This report is designed to be printed on sticky labels, such as that what you, you might see occasionally on the front of, of envelopes. So what we have to do is create the query first. So it's the Create tab, and then Query Design. Now we're told from question 43 in the June 2008 paper that the labels need to be produced from all the data. What that simply means is that we've got to use the original table, not the query or anything else that we did previously. So if I add the table, and now I'm just going to grab each of those fields, double checking that as I double click them, they do actually appear in the design area at the bottom of the screen. Now, it asks, the question asks for only the records where the special is yes. Now we know that what's in the special field is either yes or no. So let's type yes. And where the notes field is not blank. Now there's a couple of ways you could do that. We could either write in the criteria for the notes column, not, and then two speech marks. The two speech marks with nothing inside is the same as saying blank. And not blank, well that's self-explanatory. If we run this, we can see that we've only got about six records, which is ideal. The other way we could um, write this query is using a programming symbol that's used in many Microsoft languages. It's the opening and closing chevrons, that less than, greater than symbol, followed by those empty speech marks again. If we run this query now, you'll see that we get it the exact same set of records. Now, we only need to show a certain number of fields though. So if we go back here, we compare, so scrolling along to the left, we compare which records we require. Uh, code, so that's checked. Product, stock isn't, reorder isn't, but price and notes are. So let's get rid of special as well. This time, we've only got those four fields from our query that we asked for. Now I'm going to go Control S to save it on my keyboard. Maybe I'll just add here labels. You don't have to. It's just for 